So my name is uh, Amit Tal. Uh, I'm 28 from Tel Aviv, and I'm and I'm alive. It was about 5 a.m. and I look up and I start seeing like maybe like 20 rockets. Music stops. It's already daylight. We see officers and uh, security guards running all over the, the the spread of the whole festival area. Everybody started panicking. Everybody started getting in the car, started driving. And they got onto the road and it, there was a huge line of like maybe like 50, 60 cars. We just got ambushed from all sides. We were pretty much surrounded and like the only way was to go that way, which is past like the dirt um, parking lot. And basically there you had like open fields that you can see in videos of people running in open fields. That's like nowhere to hide. It's an open field. They like, they're in Jeeps. They could literally ride and grab you and pick you up like, like a goldfish out of a tank. Like just grab you. So anyways, we hear gun shooting. We start running from side to side. We start seeing people uh, shot in the leg, in the arm. We ran past the dance floor into the camping site slid into like holes in the ground and into dirt all kinds of like ditches in the back we were just hiding as low as we can and you couldn't see them because they were so far you can just hear gunshots they were probably shooting at the cars but you couldn't tell because everything was so close and in open field it felt like it was coming from everywhere and i hear everything i hear yelling i hear girls yelling i hear shots I hear Arabic, I hear the police yelling. I Everything is so loud, it's like it's right on top of me. We're all like, everybody's like hiding behind the tank. And then they, sh they start shooting and I hear like they're hitting the tank. You can actually like feel like, you can hear like the thing, thing, like the hitting metal, like shooting metal. And then they shot left and they literally hit this car, which exploded on the street. Out of that, that like, jump or out of the like the wind that came out of the impact of the car and whatever they're shooting i literally like flew and hit back on the ground and i i hit my head right in the middle at the bottom of the tank started bleeding like crazy passed out for about 15 20 minutes under a tank come to my cell come back to myself a police officer is like slapping me straight waking up pouring like dirt on my head to stop the bleeding I pick my head up and I can literally see maybe like 500 meters, 600 meters from us. Four terrorists all all wearing black. I literally could see their eyes from far. I could see their eyes and their guns and this is real. This I could die today. They literally just missed me. That's like the thought that's going through your mind. Ariel, I asked him, where where's Dan? They're best friends. And then he, he like points back and I see him under this blanket. And he got, he, he died, I think. My heart kind of just like dropped and I couldn't, you, you get the, you know, in the moment you start understanding that mm, you, there's a lot of people that you know that are not gonna get out of here alive. It was a slaughterhouse out there. It's honestly, it was like, it's like sheep for slaughter. It kind of put a, a fear in me that I didn't know existed. Things start turning up and you start getting news and you start hearing about the girl Lerone that I told you about that we were close that she saved a couple of injured people that may or may not lived after she tried to save them and then I hear a, another story about a couple which he protected her he got shot in the back uh, and she played dead and they shot her anyway he lived and she didn't and they were hiding under a car other stories of friends hiding in ditches for over eight, nine hours. It's crazy to think that that's actually, that's actually happened an hour, hour and 20 minutes away from my house. I can't even explain the, the feeling to, I thought I wasn't gonna see my house again. My mom, my sister, it's, it's like flashing lights in your eyes and waking you up and saying, you, you still got a chance to live the life that you wanted kind of situation. It's kind of eating at me that a lot of my friends won't. I, I believe in karma and I believe um, your life that you got, you're going to repay it to the peoples that, that lost it. And I hope I get the chance because I don't, I already lost a couple of friends from the, just from that party that I already know that passed away. And I'm afraid to, to find out about more, honestly.